Afraid of scams in India? No need. Like any place you visit, India has scams to watch out for. They can seem scary and might make you think twice about going, but don't let that stop you. India is amazing with its vibrant culture and beauty. These tips will help you stay ready, know what to watch for, and how to avoid them. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment what scam surprised you the most. Also, don't forget to check out the links in our bio. But now, let's get started. The first scam is the taxi scam. Many tourists fall victim to taxi scams, so be cautious. Drivers may take longer routes, overcharge, or use other tricks. A common scam is asking for change and then swapping bills, claiming you didn't give the full amount. Some even deny you paid at all. Avoid unregistered taxis as they can be dangerous. Always use a metered taxi, reputable cab service, or registered airport taxis. Reliable options include taxi aggregators like Ola and Uber. There are many different taxi scams. One is, your hostel is around here. After telling your tuk-tuk or taxi driver where your accommodation is, they may claim it's around here somewhere halfway through the journey. This could be a tactic to avoid taking you all the way or because they genuinely don't know the location, despite agreeing to take you there initially. Use a mapping app like Maps.me to track your location and mark your accommodation beforehand. This allows you to clearly see where you are and where your accommodation is located, often enabling you to guide the driver directly. If you don't have a map, ensure you stay in the vehicle until you are directly outside your accommodation and only pay once you have arrived. If the driver struggles with English, encourage them to ask nearby locals for directions to your destination. To prevent this scenario, assess your tuk-tuk or taxi driver before getting in. Ask them at least once or twice, do you know where X hotel is? This ensures they confirm their knowledge and helps you gauge their proficiency in English, which is crucial for giving directions. Another taxi scam is, your train has been cancelled. This scam can seem credible because trains in India are often delayed or cancelled. However, if a driver tells you this, be cautious. They may intend to take you all the way to your next destination or redirect you to a bus station where they earn a commission on a new ticket. Use reliable websites in India to track your train status including delays, carriage details, and platform information. This allows you to verify the train status while in a taxi, which is more reliable than asking people at the station, especially if language barriers exist. That being said, if your train is genuinely delayed, Indian train stations, while not the best, do have waiting areas. If you're in a higher class, the waiting area is usually more comfortable. It's still advisable to go to the station and be prepared for when your train arrives. Your hostel is closed. Your taxi or tuk-tuk driver may try this outdated tourist scam in India, don't fall for it. In the past this might have been true due to lower accommodation standards, but today, hostels and hotels in India are modern and bustling with tourists. The driver likely wants you to book at his friend's hotel for a commission. Firstly, insist to your driver that the hostel is not closed. If they persist, use your Indian SIM card to call your accommodation while the driver listens. If you don't have internet or a local SIM, pretend to call and inform the driver that your accommodation is open. Most travelers book accommodation online so any closure would have been communicated. Stay persistent and assert that your hostel is open. If the driver continues, consider finding another driver. In fact, some of the hostels in India send a welcome email explicitly stating not to believe drivers who claim the hostel is closed, because it's not. Similar to this one, another scam is the road to your hotel is closed. This classic scam in India aims to divert you from your planned accommodation to one where the driver earns a commission. Similar to the previous scam, call the hotel yourself or pretend to do so to confirm that it's open. If uncertain, ask the driver to drop you as close as possible to your hotel. Often, you'll find the road is indeed accessible. However, it's worth noting that this scam is less common in India nowadays. Now let's leave the taxi scams and move on to common train scams in India. You need a ticket. This scam often targets travelers outside major city train stations, especially New Delhi station. Remember you don't need to show your train ticket to anyone until you're on board in India. If someone insists on seeing your ticket outside the station, it's likely a scam or an attempt to redirect you to buy a fake ticket or unnecessary services, possibly involving commissions for those involved. If you choose to show your ticket because you have it, go ahead, but ignore any further instructions from them. For ticket inquiries or purchases at Indian train stations, always visit the official counter. Avoid talking to anyone outside train stations in India, and remember you only need to show your ticket to officials or trustworthy personnel. The ticket counter is closed. 
Similar to the scam above, this long-standing scam involves individuals at railway stations claiming the ticket counters are closed, offering either fake tickets or overpriced ones. Always purchase your train tickets from the official counter or the official website to avoid falling victim to this scam. I do not have any change. In India, vendors and drivers often claim not to have change for large notes to encourage you to give them more money, especially for services already rendered like transportation, meals, or massages. If a shop or driver claims not to have change for your large note, insist that it's all you have and they must find change. Most of the time, they can obtain change from a nearby shop or another driver. They may initially resist to see if you'll give them extra money but stand firm. To avoid this, always carry smaller notes for transportation, especially unreasonable bills scam. At numerous pubs and bars across the country, unscrupulous barkeepers may add extra cocktails to your bill and include inflated service charges. They might even add drinks you haven't ordered. Always track your drinks, confirm prices before ordering, and estimate your final bill. Donation Scam This scam targets both locals and tourists, especially at religious sites. Scammers ask for large donations, typically between 500 and 1,000 rupees, from unsuspecting visitors. To avoid this, always ask for licenses and read the official rules and regulations before donating. Free Gifts Scam At religious sites, you may encounter a Baba offering to tie a thread of good luck on your wrist, which seems like a gift. However, after tying it, they demand money, making it hard to refuse payment. To avoid this, keep your distance from anyone offering such gifts. Beggars In India, begging is sometimes a professional operation, earning millions each year. Instead of giving money to begging children, offer them food or other necessities. Be aware that the bandages on their head, hands and legs can be fake to attract tourists' attention. Women Pinning Indian Flag Tokens on Your Shirt At metro station entrances and bridges, they forcefully pin small Indian flags on you and then demand a donation. The best way to avoid them is to ignore them, pretend to be on a call or use headphones and walk by quickly. Even if they pin a flag on you, don't engage and keep walking. Guide Scam Guide scams are common at historical sites with many claiming to be guides, some are legitimate, while others are not. It's best to hire guides through official counters. If you choose a freelance guide, always agree on the price up front. At places like Mysore Palace, you can often rent audio guides with pre-recorded information, making it easy to explore on your own. Fast Track Admission Service Scam With numerous temples, historic monuments, and natural parks attracting tourists, the queues can be exhausting. Beware of the scam where someone offers a Fast Track Admission Service for a fee, takes your money, and disappears. Police Officer Asking for Road Fee if you're stopped by a police officer asking for a road fee after arriving at a railway station or airport, don't pay it. Some drivers will refuse to pay, while others might insist you must pay for them to proceed. Stand your ground and refuse. However, tolls are legal and you must pay those. If in doubt, always ask for an official receipt and refuse to pay without one. Pickpocketing. Traveling in a crowded area? Be cautious. Pickpockets are common in busy places and buses. They use distraction techniques like bumping into you and dropping their belongings, so their partner can steal your purse while you're distracted. To avoid this, keep your wallet in your front pocket and distribute your cash in different places like pockets, wallets, and luggage. Pickpockets often work in teams using distraction tactics. While one distracts you, the other steals from your wallet or purse. Stay vigilant and mindful of your belongings to avoid falling victim to this scam. Fake SIM card scam Foreigners arriving in the country are often targeted by the fake SIM card scam. To obtain a legitimate SIM card, travelers must complete paperwork including providing a photo and ID proof. Some opt to skip this process and purchase SIM cards from shops or individuals that offer them without any documentation. Later they discover the SIM doesn't work and their recharge money is lost. Here are some more general tips to avoid scams in India. Claim familiarity with the area. If asked by a taxi driver or similar, always assert that you've been to the place before, have visited India previously, or have been in India for a while, if it's early in your trip. Avoid mentioning that it's your first time or that you're new to the country. Carry exact change. Aim to have small bills on hand at all times. You can get change from larger notes at restaurants or bigger shops and reserve smaller change for transportation and small shops. Obtain an Indian SIM card for data and local calls. This is incredibly helpful and can prevent many scams by allowing you to access information online instantly and contact your accommodation or seek help while out exploring. 
utilize hostel staff for assistance. They are usually eager to help guests. You can call them for advice or have them speak to a driver in their native language to facilitate communication. Make friends with locals. Small talk with fellow travelers or locals on trains can lead to helpful connections. They may offer assistance when you arrive at your destination and are figuring out transportation to your accommodation. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, trust your gut. If a situation with a tuk-tuk driver feels uncomfortable because of language barriers or other reasons, don't hesitate to find another option. Your intuition can often guide you away from potential trouble. Be confident. Confidence is crucial in navigating unfamiliar situations. Even if uncertain, assert yourself confidently, whether confirming train schedules or directing a driver. Don't forget to maintain confident body language throughout the whole conversation. Confidence can deter scammers and help you avoid pitfalls while traveling, especially in India. Say no to the scammers the first instance they approach you. This can be very hard, as scammers are trained to tie a bracelet on your hand or pin a flag to you before you even have time to react. But try to be on the alert and keep an eye on your surrounding and when you do become aware of the scam, say no and stand your ground no matter how persistent they are about getting paid. Do not let scammers separate you from your companion. In some cases, it can be easier avoiding a scam as a duo or group. Scammers know this and will therefore try to separate you. That's it folks, common scams in India and how to avoid them. With this information we hope you feel more comfortable and ready to visit India. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what scam surprised you the most. Also don't forget to check out the links in our bio. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, safe travels, bye.